Let's get one thing straight. I'm to blame and no one else. I always knew that, even when I was acting the bollocks. When I was small, my dad used to give me a clip across the ear for jumping on the sofa. And to get back at him, I'd hide his Nintendo gamepad. Doing that used to make him even worse. That's when the beatings had come. He's a little cunt, he'd say. No fucking manners on him. Well, I ain't put fucking manners on him. God, I hated that puckered gammy face. Forehead constantly furrowed, always in a bad mood. Always sat there on the sofa playing Super Mario. When he was like that, he'd sit there for hours. I could never watch the telly when he was in that mood, which was nearly fucking always. If I wanted to watch The Simpsons, I had to act the bollocks. First I'd jump on the sofa. Then he'd clip me across the ear. I'd get angry with that, take his Nintendo gamepad and hide it. Three or four smacks across the face would be enough. And then he'd stand there with his fists clenched, ready to pounce, and he'd say, Ah, oh, fuck this, I'm off to shoots. Then he'd be out the door in a huff, and I'd get the control, and I'd be able to watch the telly, nice and calm, watching me Simpsons. I learned very early on that if I wanted to get the control, I had to act the bollocks. After a while, me mam had come in, asking, Where's your dad? With me now engrossed in the all-American family, I just shrugged my shoulders and looked straight at the telly, feigning innocence. She'd storm back out of the room and mutter under her breath, The fucking cunt. I knew it was my fault then. I knew it was my fault when I got suspended from Summer Hill for the first time. And I knew it was my fault when the guards nicked me. I learned a phrase from my English uncle who used to visit us in the holidays. Usually I'd be up to some sort of mischief, you know. Burn an insect or I don't know. Tripping me little brother up on a scooter as he went along. He'd chuckle in that cockney twang of his and he'd say, You're a bad new you are. Now I liked that. You know, made me feel different, cool. So from that moment on, I made sure everybody called me Baden. It's weird knowing you're born bad, you know. It's like those guys who are good at football or music. It becomes who they are, doesn't it? It becomes part of their identity. It doesn't matter what it is. You just want to be good at something. I was good at being bad and dealing with the aftermath. I mean, it's not that I liked the beatings, but at the same time, it wasn't the end of the fucking world. Johnny Costello was a great runner. Ah, oh, Jesus, he'd tell you too, though. He was All-Ireland champion at the 1500 metres. He used to brag about his training, you know. Jesus, nobody could get their head around how we could go out on the roads day in, day out and run and run and run. He was fit. Girls loved him. He had that kind of surfer cool quality about him, you know. Longish blonde hair. Beaded necklace. Earrings. Tattoos before tattoos were popular. We'd all sit in conference around this Greek Adonis at the back of Summer Hill. He used to say, Training's hard, boys, don't get me wrong, you know. But that's the whole point. Once you get used to it, you begin to like it. It becomes a part of who you are. Part of your identity, you know. You know that whatever shit gets thrown your way, if it doesn't kill you, well, it only makes you stronger. Now, I hated Johnny Costello. Smoke fucker. He used to play for Marvel United, so that was another reason not to like him. 
He always made out like he had life sorted, you know. But he did have one point. I liked the idea of the masochist. Gave you a kind of superpower. I felt that any beating I'd get didn't really bother me. In fact, I grew to like it. I'd go looking for a beating. From my dad. From the teachers. From all the cunts in Maharabai. More Marvel fuckers. I used to play for Abbey United and I was fucking good. They used to put me in centre half and told me to kick the shit out of anybody who got past midfield. Being a bad one was fine there. I used to kick at the ankles of culty fuckers from Ballymo and Boyle. I'd wait for them to turn round and before they had a chance to do anything, I'd fucking pop them in the gob. People started to call me Jones after Vinnie Jones. But I put a stop to that. You can call me Baden, but the next person who calls me fucking Jonesy will rip the head off them. That generally made people leave me alone. By 13, generally people left me alone. That's when the shit got interesting. 